this is a basic overview of what we will be developing in this tutorial. So, here is a list view and after this tutorial in the second part we will be also seeing how to implement intent which we have applied over here. Hey there everyone, welcome once again. In this video tutorial you will be learning how to implement list view and intents. So first we will be dragging a list view from this menu. So here is our list view and we will be giving it an id. So id let us say lvt which is our id. Okay. And now here in our main activity I will be having a list view L and a string string of string array of all the values we will be using in our list view. So let us say mango grapes apples milkshake choco shake strawberry shake some biscuits chocolate some vegetables let us say or let us say some since we are giving some eatable fruits ok. So, let us give some more fruits only let us say papaya and let us give milk coffee. pineapple ok that will be enough ok. So, this is our string array. Now, let us uh, link our get our this list view. So, from the XML part. So, let us just get it. So, L equals list view find view by id I r dot i d dot l v t this is our name of the list view we have created in this this is the list view ok. So, this is our l v t now the thing is why we will be using array adapter over here the reason is to connect this list view with the string array since we want to display our items in this list view. So, we have to use an array adapter. So, array sorry array adapter string we are passing strings in here b equals new array adapter this will be this and this will be Android R dot layout dot simple list item one and this will be our A which is our. So, basically we are bringing this array into this array adapter. So, now we can so array adapter is actually acting as a connection between this view and this array ok. So, now L dot set adapter B ok. So, this is our array adapter. Now, we will have L dot set on item click listener new 
adapter view okay so here once you just click adapter view and click enter you will get this part okay so you need not worry about why how it came on so something like that so once you are here so basically you are, have to just implement your code over here now that if the button is clicked if the item in that list view is clicked what should happen over here okay so for the time being let's give a toast toast dot make to demonstrate you a bit so toast dot make test this oh sorry remember one thing if you use toast outside you can use here like this and but here you have to use on context context get application context yeah so you have to use this one okay because it's within this list view so you can't use this over here so now here you have to use your message say let's say if choco shake is clicked then it should show you have clicked choco shake so you have clicked now choco shake is actually a value from this array right and the position is actually this position of the item clicked right so here you will get position so basically the item which is clicked the position of that is getting passed and we are getting the value from here okay now and now our toast dot this is basically the toast syntax and nothing else dot show so let's save it and let's before going actually let's change the color of this list view so that it looks a uh, little better so background and let's give a color of accent that will do so before going further actually i want to show you this list view so this is my emulator it will take a little bit of time to start here is the emulator and it's getting launched for the first time So this will be using for the first time. It's taking a bit of time because this is the first launch. It usually takes a little bit of time while starting. Yes, so it will start in a minute. Here you go. So this is our list view. Okay and if you click on biscuits see you have clicked biscuits if you click on milkshake you have clicked milkshake if you click on grapes you have clicked grapes so this is the first part you can say okay now i'll show you how to implement an image as a background rather than this color so I'll be using an image which I have saved actually I'll copy this image so I'm copying this image and I'm going to this 
and in my text here I will be not using a color now I will be using a drawable but before doing that before doing that I have to paste it actually so I will right click in drawable and paste this image over here so now this image is in drawable and I can use it so at the rate drawable one now this is the image and if I launch it again you will see that the background image has changed so it takes again a little bit of time for launching and nearly done here you go our first part of this video series is done okay so video this videos first part actually is done so this is the background where you have a beautiful app with a background of fruits and here you have a menu of fruits and shakes and you can just click and you say it says you have clicked strawberry shake you have clicked papaya so this is the first part right